Berlin and today I'm going to talk about the intro to Peace from Kurt Rosenwinkel and it's such a beautiful intro and let's dive right into it. Peace, it's a beautiful tune from Horace Silver and it's in B flat but in the moment we are in the second half of Kurt Rosenwinkel's intro and he's playing an E pedal and we're going to check out how it's going to end up on the tonic of this tune so how it's going to B flat and how it's going to start to play the melody of peace. So let's have a look at the first phrase. So in the beginning of the intro he has been playing like a Phrygian sound on the E pedal. But now if we have a look, we have the flat six also have the F sharp and the G. So I'm guessing that could be an E Aeolian sound. The next chord is super cool. So this chord could also be, I could think about it as a B diminished chord and then a7, right? It's a disguise for A7, flat 9, and then the flat 9 in the bass. That, that would be the flat 7 of the A7. Right? A root, flat 9. And what's so interesting to me is that would turn the first chord, the chord on the E pedal, in sort of a E2 chord and instead of playing E Dorian we're having this modal interchange thing again. So we have the 2 chord which is Aeolian and then we have the 5 chord with the B flat and the bass. You can think about it as an A7 altered chord and then the A in the pedal. So if we are having a look at those triads, right? That's B minor, close position, A and G. So those triads stem from the D major scale. We have an A in the bass and the G and the A sort of create a mixolydian sound. But then just for fun we're going to add another degree and just for fun also going to play some like notes from the D major scale. All the while playing an A in the bass and now surprise all of a sudden he's playing this F sharp which is so cool. So again here he has two major triads that are a half tone apart and that of course reminded me of the intro where we have our Spanish Phrygian sound E and F you know you can find those two chords on in the A harmonic minor scale right and they stem from the Phrygian dominant scale and that's just another fancy name for the harmonic minor 5 scale 5 harmonic minor 5 scale you know the harmonic minor scale that you can build on the fifth degree. So that's where the, those chords stem from. But in this case he doesn't have like an F sharp in the bass but still the A. And this A works as a five all the time leading up to a resolution that is going to come soon, right? <laughs> And that's here. So all of a sudden we have a D in the bass and think about it, it's it's really great. It's E, A, D. It's a 2, 5, 1 if you want to, but then very well disguised and going through the process of laughter more than one time, I guess. here is a C major drop two voice and then 
we have the D in the bass a chord that I would use a lot with a C major chord would be this one and the D in the bass which is a sus voicing and this is the same same thing just with another voicing so we have a 7 we have the 4 we have the 13 and the 9 very colorful so we're sort of landing on a suspended one and beautiful the root so even nobody's playing it so we have the D again four four again and the seven and then he's just like playing the open E string that's the ninth and that chord is an F sharp minus seven chord with a D, D open string so in my ears it's all D. Getting to a darker place, and I have to tell you, don't exactly know what is happening here. So it's that's like an A minor 13 chord, it could be a Dorian sound. Sort of a 2-5 A minor, D7 sort of going to G. Please let me know what you think about this passage because you know this. It's so beautiful and I don't know what it is exactly. Let's talk a second about those chords. When I listened to that the first time, it reminded me of the tune Once I Loved from Tobim Wright. And then we have the a diminished, A minor, B flat diminished, and then with Jobim it's leading to B minor 7. Kurt is playing a sus chord, which is a surprise. If you look at the tune that's in G major, right? So, so it's the A flat diminished on the flat second degree. That's sort of a disguised E7 leading to the A minor. Then the B diminished is a disguised F sharp leading to the B minor. So what I find interesting is that those chords exist in G major, right? So, and we had this sort of an A Dorian sound, maybe. And this is D, you know, and then it's not going to G major, but then there's a chord progress progression that would appear in G major. Classic chord, right? Classic chord from like East Coast Love Affair. So we're having a chromatic bass line all the way, right? Like coming from once I loved, <laughs> if you want to, going to the C in the bass of a D chord, C sharp, ending on the D. Our tonic again, still in D major, sort of, right? And right that's an E flat major I love those lower drop two chords the low four strings and now we're in E flat all of a sudden or at least we're playing a chord that's not part of D major anymore and he's playing this really cool cascade and I really like how he sort of phrases or it's like an Interpunction, I don't know the word in English, like you know, he's saying, I'm here. It's like. Sort of in 
indicating that something new is happening now. And we are on an F7 now because we are in B flat now. The E flat is the, on the fourth degree in B flat. So it's sort of a pivot chord, right? That means it exists in two keys and navigates or connects those two keys in D major on the flat two degree and in B flat major on the fourth so degree. So the arpeggio, minor thirds and tritone. So if you only look at the melody notes and ignore how he harmonizes them with double stops, you will have you have like an F7 chord, right? This is sort of like a B flat major triad. The one because we are in B flat now. C minor second degree F7. Shell voicing E flat six, so you could be thinking like right, like two, five, even two again, and again the one, the B flat, and then inversion, another shell voicing C minor, but then with the F and the bass turns into a sus chord, resolve it, F7, that's really really cool and what I love about it is the idea of mixing like the close position triads, right, with the shell voicings in between all the time staying on, on those three strings with exceptions and then he ends up that's that's easy for a change <laughs> so we're in b flat right e flat fourth degree d minor seven c minor seven and then e starting this line that's all b flat and then the tune continues let me know if I should make a video going on about this tune which is so cool because I think now it's going to get a little bit easier since we at least know which chords are written on the lead sheet and what he's doing with them right so yeah so the takeaway is really to not think about one chord so much you know like one symbol one shape or one voicing but like like chunks of chords, like families of chords, like, you know, also in the first part of the other video, he's using a lot of chords that are built on the different scales degree and just connecting them in a row and that really sounds beautiful. So I hope you're all doing very well. If you like this video, you might also like this video about Kurt Rosenwinkel's tune East Coast Love Affair, it's the intro and I'm showing the same stuff more or less that he's doing there and I see you next week. Bye!